Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you might have heard me talk about Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer is a show that was on in the 90s. I don't even know if it's still airing anymore. Jerry would be real old if it was, but shout out to you girl if you're still going. But I've talked about the show a few times before because growing up, it was one of the only places that I saw trans women. There was no Laverne Cox in Orange is the New Black. There was no Euphoria with Hunter. I forget her last name, Hunter something. But there weren't really any positive or really accurate representations of trans people in mainstream media. I think the only one that I really saw was on Degrassi. I wasn't the biggest fan of Degrassi. I didn't watch it that much, but I do remember there was this one trans boy named Adam, right? I think that's what it was, right? So I figured for today's video, it might be kind of fun to react to some clips from Jari Springer, specifically some clips of trans women in them, obviously. I post new videos here on my channel every single Monday and Thursday, so if you guys are not yet subscribed, make sure that you do that right now. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. Are you done? Thank you very much. Can we talk about how cute this shirt is also? All of a sudden, I love long sleeve shirts. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep as up to date with me as possible. And yeah, with no further ado, let's right into today's video. So first we're gonna watch, surprise, I'm a man. Well, Jerry, you know, one day I went to a club this uh, last weekend and, um, you know, I was just going to the club to just, I'm single, I'm very handsome, I'm young, so I was trying to go to the You're club. You're what? You're very... I'm handsome. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it must be my glare. My objective was to get drunk and possibly get a girl. The day after that, I'm with my homeboys, my phone starts to uh, buzz and I get a text message. The text message was like, hey, are you trying to take me out on a date? To me, that's a thought, straight up. I would never take a thought on a date. Oh. I'm sorry, I mean, it's real, I can't. I hate men like this. I hate men that will go out and like have a one night stand with a girl, whatever. Not men that will go out and have a one night stand. Like you do whatever you want, but I hate men that do that and then talk shit about the girl. Like they weren't also just going out and having a one night stand. You're gonna call her a thought for going out and having a one night stand, but like you were there too, sweetheart. <laughs> the audience though, the audience all like sad that he called her a thought. Honestly, same, we love the audience. Okay, here she is, here she is, here she is. Why are you calling me a thought? Because you are respected as a thought. I can't respect you as a so loyalty woman. So what are you, what are you? I'm a man. Honestly, same, like what is the issue? You're a thought, you're a thought, you're a thought. Like, bitch, like, why are you so mad? How are you gonna be calling her names like this? And then she literally says, then what are you? Like, if I'm a thought, then what are you? Cause like, you were there too. And he goes, oh, I'm a man. What are you, what are you? I'm a man. And I'm a man too. not gonna watch him like beat her up that's not cute that's not the vibe that's just disgusting honestly that's not funny at all first of all why did she say i'm a man like girl you're not a man you're very clearly not a man this is literally teaching people not even people that are just in the audience but people watching this at home this is literally teaching them that they should feel ashamed or that they should feel embarrassed or mad or even violent when they find out that they are attracted to a trans woman or when they find out that they have been intimate with a trans woman. This kind of media, this kind of representation is literally killing trans people every single day. And the fact that they left in when he literally attacked her and like started running after her, that's awful, that's disgusting. It's from the Jerry Springer show. Is this their actual account? Yeah, this looks like it's their real account. This was posted in 2017. So like not even like the 90s or something, but I'm pretty sure this is an old clip, but they posted this three years ago. Okay, we're gonna move on. This next one is also called, sorry, I'm a man. How did you guys meet? Um, at a bar. At a bar. In, in, in the city? Uh, yeah, in the city, Manhattan. Okay. okay. And uh, was it like, wow, right at first sight, or? Uh, when I first saw her, yeah, because yeah. she's beautiful. So, you know, when I first saw her, it was, I got to talk to that. Yeah. And from to there, that. Yeah. Gotta, well, no, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Was it nice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. You know, by the end of the night, we clicked. I feel so bad for this girl. Like, she's just sitting there. You can tell she knows she's about to become the laughing stock. She knows that this is about, like, what is about to happen on this show right now. Like, that's, like, the whole gag. So the situation that's happening now, apparently, she brought him on. I think that she brought him on to tell him that she's transgender. He doesn't know. He said that she's beautiful. He said that he is attracted to her. He likes her. All that kind of stuff. And now, I'm assuming now is when we're going to get into the, the tell-all, if you will. We've been seeing each other, and we have a really good connection, and... If we are going to pursue things, this is something that you do need to know. Um, I was born a man. Okay, we're going to stop it. We're going to stop it. I feel like the presentation, I feel like the presentation of the reveal of this one, if you want to call it the reveal, 
I feel like it was a lot better than the last one. She didn't say I'm a man. I mean, she did say I was born a man, which like isn't technically true. You don't, you're not born a man. You know what I'm saying? You grow into a man, you become a man. That being said, even the delivery, how she's coming across, it doesn't seem like she's trying to set him up. Like the last one, it was kind of like a, oh, gotcha. Like, oh, I'm a man too. Like, you know what I mean? This one I feel like is more authentic and more like, she actually feels like she wants to tell him and like continue a relationship. I mentioned in my last video that I'm recently single and like I'm already seeing the effects of shows like this where men are just like, they just feel this immediate shame about being attracted to somebody that is transgender. Let's continue. She just told him, let's see how he reacts. So you're telling me, I don't understand, you've been deceiving me? Not anymore. Okay, we're pausing it. No, sir, she was not deceiving you. And I mean, unless she like explicitly said, I am not transgender or I was born cisgender, I was born, you know, female. Unless she said that, then maybe she was deceiving you. But to say that, oh, you've been deceiving me this whole time is implying that she's not a woman, which she very clearly is. This is making me think that the show like coaches them on what to say or like what not to say. I feel like when he says, oh, what do you mean? Like elaborate, like, like what are you talking about? At that point, she should have been like, oh, I'm transgender. Like. I used to, I was born male and now I am a girl, but she won't say that. She won't say I'm a girl now. She won't say I'm transgender. It's only like, I used to be a man because that's the whole gag of the show. They want that little sound bite of, I used to be a man. It was hard. Hard for what? It was hard to tell you. I how, care how, about you. How could you care about me and you're lying to me the whole time? Because I was afraid that you were gonna leave without even giving me a chance. Oh, well that's the point. That's why you should have told me from the beginning and we wouldn't have had to go through all of this because at the end, so, it, what what are you what are you saying though? Like is it? I'm saying I don't, don't want to be with a man. That's what I'm saying. I want to be with a woman. That's what I thought you were from the beginning, a woman, not a man. Who? You're supposed to let people know, give people. I shouldn't have fucking filmed this video. This is too. This is like too much for me right now. But he's obviously very upset. He's saying that you should have told me from the beginning. I want to date a woman. I don't want to date somebody that's a man. This video was posted in 2015. I don't know when the original clip is from, but this isn't something that used to happen. This happens still to this day. This happens all the time. Like people don't get what it means to be transgender. People don't get that like I'm not a dude. People don't get that I'm not like a. A boy. This video has 1.7 million views. This could have been such a powerful like teaching opportunity. This such a this could have been such a powerful like little clip to show like hey trans people aren't men. I mean unless you're a trans man of course then you're then you're a man. But he says you're supposed to let people know that and then the whole audience like cheers and uproars and saying like yeah how dare you lie to him how dare you do all that to him blah blah blah. It is such a difficult situation to be in though like there isn't really a good time to tell somebody that there isn't like a, a perfect time to tell somebody that. So him saying, you should have told me, you should have told me, that's not fair to me. When should she have told you? It seems like you guys just started dating. It doesn't seem that you guys have been intimate at all. Like, I feel like she did what she should have done here. But even in situations like this, where the trans girl does literally everything right, she's still the butt of the joke and she's still laughed at and she's still villainized on the show as being this person that's being deceitful and this person that's going around tricking people. Even if this clip doesn't end the same way that the last clip ended, like with violence, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have the same effect that that last clip had. You can see the frustration that this man is feeling, but you can also hear the audience cheering that on. You can hear the audience, you know, shaming him for, you know, feeling any sort of attraction to a trans woman. I'm straight, I'm not... And I am a woman. Period. Okay, maybe she wasn't like, told not to say that she's a woman because she did just say, I'm a woman, period. And I love that she came back and said that because you know, that is such an important thing to recognize. This man admitted that he was attracted to her. He found her beautiful. He liked her, all this kind of stuff. But as soon as that descriptor gets applied to her, he's no longer attracted to her. Like, I just don't see how that works. I don't see how that adds up. <laughs> you can't just decide to flip off your attraction to somebody. It just, it doesn't work like that. For him to say, oh, I'm a straight man. I'm not attracted to people like you. Like. Clearly you're attracted to her. That's why you're here, is it not? That's not to say that like intimately everything is going to work out and like, you know, you're going to be attracted to everything like in that sense, but you can't just switch up and say that you're no longer attracted to her. Like you, you are, you are attracted to her. And being attracted to her does not change your sexuality whatsoever. If you're a straight man, you're a straight man. That's, like it doesn't matter. That's what no, you are. I you're am gay. A woman. No, you're gay. No, let me tell no, you something. No, I you're am gay. a you woman. Keep your hands down. I you're gay. You're gay. That's what you I are. I am a no, woman. No, you're not a Okay, we're gonna stop it because optically that is not the best move, sis. You don't want to kick off your shoes and, you know, square up with the man to prove that you're a woman. Also though, he called her gay. 
He does. It's fine. He doesn't get it. It's fine. It's just so sad. It's it really is so so sad because like I said, videos like this are impacting people every day. They impact me literally every single day. And that's not even just for the extreme cases of when people get violent against trans women. This is literally just impacting the way that people see trans women. They see them as this kind of punchline, as this joke. And that is literally because media like this, media like Maury, all of those shows have taught people, have ingrained in people's minds that it is shameful to be attracted to a trans woman, that it is gay to be attracted to a trans woman if you're a man. I mean, if you're a girl attracted to a trans woman, it's a little gay, sorry. <laughs> okay, we are moving on to the last video. This one is titled, She's Got a Secret. I'm so excited, like it's been a while since I've seen you and I mean, like you look so, you look so beautiful today. Thank you. Like, man. I like you too. I mean, when we conversed at the club and we exchanged numbers and we hooked up, it was like you was everything I wanted in a man. And you know, I like chubby guys. You know, I call you my teddy bear. <laughs> and I mean, I really want to pursue a relationship with you, but there's something that I have to tell you. Anything. I'm a chick with <laughs> Girl, girl, girl. You cannot be doing that. You can't do that. Thank goodness. This, the Bitch, that's your own fault. Honestly, that is all you. You, that was you. And this is another example of why I think that shows like this are scripted. Maybe they're like, we'll pay you more. We'll give you extra money if you say I'm a man instead of I'm transgender. If you say I'm a chick with a dick instead of I'm transgender. I don't know what motive she would have to say it like that. I don't understand. Oh no, I... <laughs> I low-key feel bad for the guy too, like damn. He's looking around like, honestly, it looks like he's about to cry. I think that if she had told him not on the Jerry Springer stage, like in a more casual scenario, she could have worded it a little bit more gracefully. I don't know, but I feel like he might've actually like been okay with it if she didn't do all that extra stuff. You just hear the crowd like laughing at him, making fun of him, making him feel ashamed for it. And like, honestly, I would not blame him for reacting in a negative way. Like she set him up to react in a negative way. If he does not react in a way that is repulsed by her being transgender, in a way that shows some sort of shame towards being attracted to her being transgender, he's gonna become the butt of the joke. It's gonna get flipped on him. It's gonna be like, oh, you're gay then. Oh, haha, that's even better. He actually likes her. So you used to have it or you like still? I still have it. Okay, I'm, hold on, wait, so. It's pretty hard hold to on. get rid of. <laughs> Fuck you, Jerry, fuck off. You wasn't doing that when we hooked up in the bathroom. Okay, 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 hold on girl, hold on girl. That is something that you never wanna do, ever, unless you're trying to die. If you're trying to die, then maybe yeah, go for it. But when you tell a guy that you're transgender and you can see that he is visibly upset, visibly feeling ashamed of, you know, the fact that you're transgender, I know it's horrible, it's awful, all that kind of stuff, but you don't wanna like add to it. You don't wanna, you know, pile on to that shame that he's feeling. He will literally attack you. Trans women are murdered every single day in situations like that. Are you dumb? Stop. <laughs> That's why the bathroom isn't a good idea. <laughs> Fuck you, Jerry. I literally, Jerry is making me so mad right now. He's like, see, that's why you don't have sex in a bathroom because she could be a man. Like Jerry, you, you fucking wish. You, ooh, I fucking hate Jerry. Yeah, so you think this is cool? See, right? He's like, he's like, see, why would you do this to me? Like, why, why would you do this? You think this is funny? Like, he's a hurt. He genuinely does not understand why somebody would put him in that situation. It's just, she set him up. She set him up to fail. I'm a trans woman, and how are you gonna yes. address me as a trans woman? Because I go to the women's bathroom, I take hormone pills, I've had surgery, so therefore I'm a trans woman. Girl, you can't come back now. No, 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 you can't come back. You can't start off with, I'm a chick with a dick. I'm a man. You can't start off like that and then say, oh no, you have to call me a trans woman. Like, that ship has sailed. You already, you fucking, like I said, like this situation could have gone over much more smoothly, but like, you messed it up, girl. Like, is it? I'll go. Did you see a man when we went hooked up in the bathroom? No. No, but I do now. Okay, so what's the problem? I'm not gay. Do, I, do I look gay? Are you mad because my d is bigger than yours? <laughs> okay, enough. All right, we're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. Girls, don't be her. I do not like to judge people however you experience your identity, however you want to express yourself, however you want to talk about yourself. You do you, you know what I'm saying? But like, actually, maybe don't because you're hurting all of us. You're just making men ashamed of liking you. Like, why would you do that? I don't get it. Like I said, videos like this have impacts. You know, they're not just funny little videos you see on YouTube or, you know, scrolling on fucking TV or wherever you see these videos. But yeah, that is the last Jerry Springer clip that I'm reacting to today. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. I am down to do more videos like this. You guys know that there are many, many, many more videos of trans girls on Jerry Springer. I can react to more if you want.
just let me know. Like I said, I post new videos here on my channel every single Monday and every single Thursday. So if you guys are not yet subscribed and you would like to be, make sure that you do that right now and hit the little bell so that you, you know, get notified when I post a new video. And yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on Monday's video. Oh wait, no, this is Monday's video. On Thursday's video. We're in Thursday's video. <laughs> Bye guys. Whoop.